Hello friends, this is your friend Rakesh. Today I am going to show you a very nice trick. Using this trick you can achieve a result like we have on the screen. Wherein we have Indian currency symbol and also the denomination like crore. You can customize this according to your need. Let's jump into this solution. So let me start with a blank canvas. So I am adding a card over here and now I will drop a new measure that I will create. Let's create a new measure. So I call this measure my total revenue and it is going to be a simple sum of sales. As this number is going to be represented in crores, so I will divide this number in 1 followed by 7 zeros and simply enter. And now I will add card in my blank canvas and simply add my new newly added measure. So when I add my newly added measure, so I have to make few changes. I mean when I say changes, I mean visual formatting, not the hard code DAX format using a DAX function that is called format. I will simply click on my measure and I go in the formatting option and I will simply click on this small recently selected item. You can find this item in this list. So I just simply click on this option. So once I click on this option, my Indian currency symbol will appear. But now in order to add CR as a suffix, we have to go to the relationship window and here I will click total revenue. So once I select on my total revenue, my properties window will appear. In my properties window, I will go under formatting, I will select custom. So once I select custom, so you can see the the complete formatting string will appear. So as you can see, this formatting string has three sections and each section is divided by a semicolon. This is my first section and this is my second section and this is my third section. So you may be wondering what these sections all about. So let me tell you, the first section is for positive values. Then the second section is for negative values and now the third and the final one is for zero values. So by using this formatting string, you can decide what type of formatting you need for your data to be represented. So as you can see, I am getting rupees symbol to add CR, I mean crore as a suffix to my value. Simply enter a space in inventory comma, I will type CR. So when I press enter, as you can see in my example, the value is positive. So once I press enter, simply add CR to my value. And as you can see, for negative values, I mean this one, the negative is coming in between. So I do not want this to appear in the end of the number. So I will simply represent my negative numbers in bracket. Let's take my currency symbol in the beginning and simply type CR in the end, close the section by a simple bracket. So as we have added the format string, so when I go to my canvas, you can see that we are getting the result. I mean, we are getting Indian rupee symbol and also the CR as a suffix denoting my value in crores. Now, in order to show you how it behaves for a negative value, let me multiply my aggregated value by minus one. So if you see, the result wrapped by brackets. Now, one thing that we need to note here is that these are visual changes. When I say visual changes, means you can use this formatting in your graphs as well. So let me add a simple bar chart. Now, let me just turn on the data labels and let me increase the size also. And now you can see we are getting currency symbol and also the suffix CR also. And it is also appearing in my tooltip as these are visual changes. So it will, we can use these visual changes in our graphs also. But if we try to force it by a DAC function called format, then we cannot use this in our graph. I hope you like this video. If you want to receive the notification of such videos, do subscribe my YouTube channel and you can also join my LinkedIn group. Link is given in the description. Thanks for joining in. Have a nice day.